comes back now. He's gone for a straight rematch. I think he should. Oh, he's in. Could be a goal. Could you in? Oh, he's chosen. Oh, Bruce just brings his keeper up and takes him back, and that's made him shoot there. Stokes will be disappointed with himself over there. Oh, that's oh. an effort. Yes, so you can hear the uh, psychological games going on there. Yeah. <laughs> Rob using his experience. As always. A bit of sledging going on. I was going to say, we've had a nice representation from a lot of different nations this weekend. Uh, Eduardo over, flew over especially from Spain. Yeah, no, Eduardo from FIWC actually has tried online to qualify. Scottish cousins times. come down over the border and uh, Crossy come in from Ireland. That's been great. Yeah, good turnout. Absolutely. I think Bruce just needs to relax a bit more. He seems to be charging his defenders out a lot faster than he'd usually be doing. Yeah. Not, not really containing Stokes, always looking to get the ball back straight away. Just needs to relax a bit more. Yeah, I think he's, he's feeling the pressure. He's, uh, well, Stokes is playing very, very well. Yeah, he's very, very relaxed, Stokes. That's good defending now by Rob. I think we might see a different Rob in this game because, like we said earlier, with him just knowing that he only needs to win that one series of games, yeah, and sometimes relax a bit. Whereas now it's down to a real, you know, no messing and no second chance. Yeah, he has to win, doesn't he? So, yeah. Oh, Torres, who's a good score? Oh, oh he's missed it. Save. No, nah, Bruce will be disappointed. He'll feel as though he should be in the lead. Yeah, I thought it was a definite goal then, let's see. Well, that's the keepers on FIFA for you. You never know what we're going to do. We can turn into Superman at times. Yeah. I'm just getting an update on what's happening on the live stream tonight. Um, we're going to do uh, the Gears of War final. Oh, good opportunity here. Oh! The Gears of War final is not going to be streamed live, unfortunately, because uh, the players didn't listen to the admins, and basically they were supposed to play their semi-finals at the same time, but uh, ended up one team had to use someone else's headsets, and basically they shot themselves in the foot for having stream time. So Gears of War not happening in the live stream. That was supposed to be next. What we will have, though, is a Halo 2 eight-player FFA. Uh, retro gaming has been happening here all weekend long via replay and the guys from replay expo so we're going to be showing you an eight player ffa from halo 2. and then we will be showing you the grand finals for call of duty black ops and halo reach oh we missed it sorry that was my fault <laughs> First it takes a lead. So let's go to Rob. Oh, we could have the replay, but we didn't get it. Well, of course, Bruce took the lead in the last game and ended up losing, so... Yeah. Yeah, see so if he doesn't He's relax got to this on his defence, yeah, exactly. I keep forgetting that, because we... There's two, there's two screens here, so people can see when I, the whole game if I flip away, but I forget that the stream can't have that... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tacking down the flanks again. Seems to be fairly dominating this game so far. Yeah, he looks to have gathered his game together, playing a lot better than he did previously. Oh, finesse! Ooh, yeah, just over the crossbar. Yeah. Okay. 
Tom certainly plays a ball around confidently, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's Moving knocking it out with confidence. So yes, we are going to be playing Halo 2 here after this game. After Tom tries to uh, finish this huge comeback. I think we kind of jinxed Brewster <laughs> by all the talk at the beginning about comebacks and how it doesn't really, you know, one game might be taken, but there's never anything that big. Yeah. No, I remember last year, the final last year, where I think when Adam was playing Luke in the final, I think Luke took the first game, didn't he? And it was like, yeah, is he going to do it? And then yeah. Adam kicked no. in and it was like, yeah. Luke being a very, very good player over the years as well, but uh, yeah, it's just good, good too to see far. There's too much to do. And it's kind of a similar situation as well because the first game that Luke ended up winning, he, he totally dominated it. I couldn't get through his defence at all, so yeah. I had to pick my game up as Brewster is having to now. Absolutely. Yeah, I remember it was noticeable, and that's when you were getting some of the uh, jibes from your playing partner yeah. from the commentary last year but you shut him up in the end I mean Bruce has had plenty of banter this this week with his real leather shoes straight from a cow oh I'd miss those no we've what missed them they? they're not on no, today no, 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 they're, 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 they're not on tour today we'll have to ask him about those yeah. later <laughs> he's got a little cap to keep his head warm as well now <laughs> <laughs> Robert's mother takes it before he leaves the house. Yeah, but it's very chilly. Remember your, it? remember your red leather shoes? <laughs> you look really nice in those. And remember to wear your, your little hat. <laughs> little pipe for keeping his hands warm as well, David. Yeah. Yes. They go off the keeper's face. Yeah. Rob's had the chances in this game. Yeah, he certainly has. Only one up. I mean, Bruce just took his earphones aren't that so yeah well, you what that. you're saying Adam yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's business time that's what that's what that is yeah. it's business time it's, it was too relaxed with the musical yeah I think well so. I think eventually after you listen to Swagger Jagger yes. on repeat <laughs> long enough it does get to you can, uh, one listen on Radio 1's enough for it's about the only song that the radio goes off immediately in the car if that comes on I love it my god it's so bad it's so good <laughs> She had all that talent as well. They what? Pre they presented no, her with that song. No, she didn't. That's exactly what you have to expect from her. She couldn't have chose that song, surely. Someone must have convinced her it was a good idea. Yeah. It was like those YouTube videos where they say, like, oh, it's just all my darling Clementine. It's horrendous. Then you put a bit of Swedish House Mafia in there, try and give it a bit of credibility, but it's just yeah. like, no, it's gone by then. Sorry. going back down the middle at the moment and Rob's falling all his attacks yeah I think you see that a lot when players are losing they'll instead of going down the wings they'll start to try and pass it through the middle yeah because if you do get in you, you've got a lot higher chance of scoring than you are from across Rob just booting into touch then They made any announcements about on main stage yet, Mike, about ECL 4? Yes, we will be announcing that at some point. I, well, actually, you know what? Everyone knows anyways, pretty much, as far Where's, as I know. It? Well, for the people on the stream, I, I'm guessing most people just stick around and watch the whole stream, but in case there's FIFA community people in there who are just watching it for this, ultimately, the venue for ECL 4 will be... Uh, very appropriate for FIFA. Absolutely, it should be an amazing event. Chance for Stokes, oh great save by Robert's keeper. Yeah, no, looking forward to ECL4, should be an amazing venue. Well, you guys were talking about kind of venues and the differences and so on, and I think ECL, we try to make an attempt at finding kind of, you know, giving different kinds of venues 
an opportunity to uh, you know test out something like this. So yeah. be it uh, the arena in Liverpool, which was obviously an, an excellent venue, but oh, oh, nice great, goal, great really goal. really nice goal. He's chilling out. Yes. Take some of that, Mr. Brewster. Every time you kind of like Tom seems to maybe like kind of be stiffing, stiffening up a bit. He comes back with just something so yeah. beautiful mm -hmm. like that. Yeah, he's got some very good goals. I mean, certainly plays some nice yeah. FIFA. Another opportunity now. But with the venues, we have um, you know we've given kind of different things a, a shot, be it the, the arena and then Blackpool was kind of an experiment just because Blackpool is kind of as much as people put it down it's actually kind of a good place to host an event like this lots of cheap accommodation food it's pretty easy to get to although the trains were shut down on the Sunday night which were like made life miserable for many myself mostly <laughs> and on the other hand you have somewhere like this a you know university sports hall which is um, you know has its pros and cons and so on the biggest pro being a hundred meg internet line in and out People forget the fact that you need internet, you need power, you need space. Yeah, absolutely. It's been nice and roomy here compared to when you look back at the Liverpool Arena, but it's been particularly hot today, hasn't it? Yes. It's been really, really hot. The only kind of airflow is out of the emergency exits. Well, there's actually flat, the, like, these air vents at the top, but we had them open yesterday morning and you know, a lot of players complained about the fact that the kind of the way the sun some yeah w was uh, where the sun was just kind of uh, put a put the kibosh on that yeah yeah I know we went in the dark for a little while didn't we just to try and get the heat down from the lights yeah it's a happy medium yeah so this game's been a bit more scrappy but one all bit rubs just offside there yeah a lot more close this game We've only got one goal either side. You know, I think this could be, a, you know, in the last set, whoever takes this game has then only got to win one and the other person's got to win both yeah. games. Well, there you go. StarCraft 2 Grand Final going to be happening yeah. over on Total Biscuit Stream. Here at ECL3 at Loughborough. I'll be starting shortly, so stick around here. We'll let you know when that gets going live on Total Biscuit Stream. It's all brought to you by Steel Series Rejo 42 Game Station. If you're wondering exactly how this FIFA tournament has panned out and how we've uh, managed to come to this grand final of Tom Stokes versus Robert Brewster, then head on over to ECL.eu. We've got all the brackets up there, powered by BinaryBeast.com. Have you, Dave, you've been using the bracketing software. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, we worked with the team yesterday. We had a few challenges with it being football because it was set up. Yeah. For, but the guys were on, on site, get stuff sorted out for us. So, no, been good. And today with the, the brackets have been absolutely fine. So, yeah, it was just a bit of refining for football. Because you can have draws in football. Yeah. Which some of the other games it's just a win or a loss but yeah no and say the guys Jay's been great working with us and, and Nick so big thanks to the guys for making that possible because it got a little distressing at some point yesterday afternoon that we but got yeah, through yeah well, it's kind of one of those things where every game has their own way of doing it like I know a lot of team, like a lot of uh, admins like to, or head admins like to use Excel still this day and age even though there's other bracketing software out there I think it was just about time that we just forced something on everyone and said, like, listen here, yeah, it's something. Binary Beast guys were more than happy to oblige with uh, partnering up with us, so. Yeah. It's good for people back home as well, we can. Oh, exactly. Keep up the scores, can't we? Yeah. I mean, every event run by anyone and always say the same things about keeping people updated and so on, but it's so hard, it is, apart yeah. from, like, the kind of, like, Twitter's been a good invention for that, yeah. which is nice. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of feedback from the Twitter scores. We've been putting them out today. Excellent. ECL FIFA scores and getting a lot of feedback from people on that. 
positive? Yeah, no, absolutely. Just thanks for the coverage and that. People really appreciate the effort that people put in for it. Could be a chance for Stokes. It's the last minute. Brewster won't want to concede now. He's brought his keeper. That's a good save. Out of Bayo. Oh. Off the line. Great defending there. Big defending. Yeah, we've seen Brewster do that before against Tywin. He blocked nice. one off the line. Good counter of his own now. Anelka. Maybe should have used a winger. Right. Careful with the uh, selection this time. Yeah. What have you taken control of? <laughs> and extra time it is. And there'll be no golden goal this time. It's just quick classic then falls it. <laughs> nice to see that Robert Brewster has uh, um, extended his vocabulary. Yeah, he's helping his uh, <laughs> colleague in the final there. There we are, classic it is. Got it right this time. Cool. Of course, uh, joining me here right now, there they are. Wits and Winster. Two handsome fellas. Thanks, Mike. No worries. You're a gentleman. I especially like you, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put you there, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, let me sit next to Adam. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, oh, there we go. Had a buy-off from the corner. That's really unfortunate for Brewster. Everyone hates conceding from corners because there's not really much you can do about it if it no. is going to go in. You can have the strongest defender in the world, but if you get the jump with a striker, you... Yeah, exactly. Of course, it's even more frustrating because there's not really much skill to it. You just whip the ball no. into a box and if Rest your player shoot. wins it, he wins yeah. it. Nice ball here, too. This could be the game. Oh, oh, nice chip, but checks is too big. So I'm showing his confidence again. A little over too confident sometimes in those clinical. Take the game to 3 1 then. It's got inside him. Oh, oh lovely skill. Nice. Great ball, oh, my oh, Beautiful oh, goal, goal there. Yet great. again. Adebayor there. He's having an impact in extra time, Adebayor. Sure. I haven't seen him all game. Yeah. Can he just doesn't really on? have much impact yeah, apart so, from this game. That's how effective Ronaldo is. A bit of skill, crosses it in, and before you know it, Adebayor's heading it in to make it 3 on. And Brewster's going to be feeling really frustrated now because. Suddenly the tables have turned and Stokes just needs to win the next game. Obviously yep. if he wins this and he's won it. And I think Bruce will be getting a lot of banter if he manages to choke this up. As we said earlier. I'll have to change that award. Holly might have to give up the crown. <laughs> yeah. Time to blame some confidence again. Brewster doesn't have much to reply with now. Yeah, Stokes is definitely the more comfortable one. He's just knocking the ball around nicely whilst Brewster's rushing his attacks, giving the ball away cheaply. That's on the yellow. Cheeky yellow. Yeah. It's a pale shade of red to roll from here. Yeah. This is the second game now that Bruce has actually gone one up and going to end up losing. So I think he's, he's really just got to focus on keeping it tight. As we'll see another Bruce to tackle. The classical we, end of the game tackled. Obviously two goals scored there in the first uh, half of extra time. Plenty of time for Robert to pull this back if he wants, but he hasn't had anything to answer here. Yeah, Stokes is definitely in control of this match. He's got to calm himself down, not get into kicking everything. And you can see the frustration just yeah, absolutely. in the way he's playing right now. Yeah, it's really important that he just calms down because he's certainly got the ability to take the next two games, but obviously... Ooh, what's the ref going to do here? The ball's in stone, no. it's at the moment.
that's where the pace of Ramos can be really effective. Obviously, he's one of the quickest defenders on the game, and if there is anyone that he's going to keep up with now, though, even just for a few seconds, then it's going to be Ramos. Yeah. Oh, keepers. Ref's giving a free kick as well. Again. Oh. Really miss that one. So what's been your highlight in the main stage so far, Michael? Getting it working. <laughs> that was good. Um, we had this like electrical issue, which is just ridiculous. It's amazing how much electricity can affect yeah. every well, every piece of the electric other electrical equipment that's Absolutely. in this building. Could but, be a chance of boost has brought his keeper out. Good defending yet again by Stoke. Down. We had a surprising game of Halo with uh, Power versus Dignitas. Dignitas absolutely white, well, just whitewashing Power Gaming. Both teams went into the semi-final without dropping a single game, uh, which was actually the case with all four semi-finalists. Yeah. And then uh, Dignitas just brushed Power aside, which was uh, rather amazing. It'll be interesting to see what happens with uh, the loser bracket. Oh. And uh, so close to a goal there, but. Oh, lovely move. Oh, refs. Oh, one back. So that's the end of the game, and now Stokes only has to win the next game. And he'll be the champion, whilst Brewster's got to win the next two. An interesting situation with the advantage Brewster originally had. Changing anything over on this. Oh, it looks as though Rob's actually gone with Real Madrid, I think. Ooh. That's quite interesting. He's used Chelsea all tournament, I think, and now he's suddenly picked Real Madrid. I think he did actually originally start practicing for the tournament with Real Madrid and then changed to Chelsea at the last minute, so he's obviously feeling that Chelsea isn't quite working, so he's going to give Madrid a go. It's quite a high risk gamble, though, obviously, because if he loses this game, then that's it. Yeah, he's putting everything on the line here, but obviously feeling like you say he wasn't getting enough success with Chelsea against Real Madrid, so he's matching up like for like. Yeah, he's sticking with the same formation, but obviously yeah. he's changing the team. He's probably impressed by the uh, display from Adebayor in the last game there. Has yeah. he <laughs> put him in there, or was he? No, I think yeah. Adebayor can be a good impact player. Yeah, to come as a sub because if he's starting, he's so random to be honest. Yeah. You never know what he's going to do. 